going to quote to you from a piece in Mesir Sharm in Perak Tess, in the when he explains Mafsida has rizos, has rizos varchaka mehem. A person has to be alacritous. A person needs to try, put in their efforts. Certainly during this time in the month of El is when we like to push ourselves a little bit more than we usually do. And some of the things that prevent us, prevent us from actually getting higher or getting further in life, in our spiritual life, is magdile <coughs> ha'atla. When a person increases their laziness in different areas of their life, and you know, as much as a human being is a complex individual, there are certain things that are just very easy for us to just fall into in a simplistic type of way. <laughs> the greatest of all is a person who, re- who requests of themselves to just have peaceful, a peaceful uh, physical existence. Vesinas HaTorach and does not desire to do any effort. Vavas is, you know, he just likes pleasures. A person who goes after his pleasures on a regular basis. A person who just wants to be sitting on a beach with his corona. And that's his ultimate essence of life. And he'd love to do that every single day of his life. So that itself um, <coughs> sounds great for one day maybe, maybe two days. But uh, that itself is what pulls a person away from his avod Hashem ultimately. Kine Adam Kaze, a person like this, Vade Shatikhbad Alav Havoda, of Nebor Kovid Godol, he sees that any, t- any service to God is just a, is a schlep for him. Any service to God is a, is a pain. He doesn't want to actually have to do this stuff. Kimishi Yir Tzalecha Lechelas Bechol Yishuvah Menuchel Lishon Shnaz Bli Torid, Viyamin Lechas Lo Leito, a person who wants to do everything without having any burdens whatsoever on himself. It's going to be difficult for that person to get up to go to shul in the morning. Or to maybe cut his meal short in the afternoon to go to mincha. You know, I'm in the middle of a meal. You know, I'm in the middle of a good nap. I'm in the middle of all these things. Oh, let's say it's a Dvar Mitzvah. That person can't go to do a Dvar Mitzvah, some type of Mitzvah that he can, that he can potentially do. Uh, certainly to push himself to go uh, after doing a mitzvah that he wasn't, uh, wasn't already clear to him or to go study Torah it's very difficult for that type of person to be able to get to that scenario so a person has to get to <coughs> get to the realization I'm skipping over to get to the realization you're not born into this world so you can just have a good time Life is not just simply, so you can have menucha, it's not just about peace. There's different ways that a person can push themselves. Ultimately, a person's job in this world is to put, them, put themselves through some effort and through some toil. That's what it's going to be. Toil and effort, whether that's going to come through Torah or other aspects of their life. Torah, mitzvot, and the like, or other aspects of their life. Ultimately, life is about pushing yourself so you can get to the ultimate beach with your corona. That's in Olam Haba. But to have that corona over here on the beach is not going to last very long and your, your can's going to run out and there's not much left that you're going to have and you're going to be sitting there going, I wish I had more money to buy another corona. That's what you're going to be hoping for. So ultimately our goal is to be in this world, to be Torah and Amel, to push ourselves so we, we can get past these things. You should be like the ones who are, who are, who are the ones who are hiring out the workers. You're working hard to make sure that things are getting done. You're ensuring that your life is fulfilled to the highest level. Obviously, everyone needs re- points of relaxation, but ultimately, our goal is to really push ourselves. Certainly, in this month, we should be zocha. We should merit to be able to push ourselves a little bit more than we usually do to get to do things more with tremendous effort and to feel the connection with Hashem.